My dear, I'm afraid I must ask you for help. There is an alchemical formula that I must complete, but I have been unable to obtain a critical ingredient. The heart of a snowy wyvern. I had arranged to obtain one, but the Chevaliers working with me were killed in the Civil War. Tell me about this. If I'm going to hunt down a snowy wyvern, I need you to tell me everything you know about it. They're quite rare and exceedingly dangerous. Their venom is the most potent of any wyvern. Ordinary hunters would not make the attempt. The risk is too great. You, my dear, would certainly be an equal to this monster. Yes. The same you don't think about that when I'm trying to bed you. I didn't know you were an alchemist, Vivian. What exactly is this project you're working on? It is a special request from a member of the Council of Heralds. I am still the Imperial Court Enchanter, after all. The matter is private. That is all there is to say. Hmm. Hmm. You want my help, don't you? You want me to risk my life to get this thing for you, but won't tell me what it's for? My dear, it is hardly proper for me to blab the secrets of those who put trust in my discretion. I would do no less for you, after all. I'm not a hunter. Why do you think I can help? This beast is not hunted for sport, as other women sometimes are. It is far more deadly. In the past, chevaliers have been dispatched to either kill the creatures or drive them away from villages. Since my chevaliers have fallen to political conflict, I find myself in need of someone with a martial aptitude. I'll help you. I'll do what I can. Thank you, my dear. I would be most grateful. I shall give the location of its lair to Cullen. Remember, my dear, I must have its heart or the potion will not work. I eagerly await your success. Yeah, she wants me, but she doesn't want me at the same time. That's bizarre. Do you need something, my dear? Do you think that you and I might someday? <laughs> That's charming, but you'll have to keep working on your technique. This up. What can I do for you, my dear? Is it too much to hope that you've brought me the heart of the snowy wyvern? Hmm. I've got the heart, now talk. If you want the Wyvern's heart, you'll tell me what you're using it for. I can do better, darling. Give me the heart and I'll show you what it's for. Will that suffice? Very well, to deal. Right. One heart has requested. How kind of you. Please accept this as your payment. I must begin work immediately. You have been a dear friend, and I would like you to come with me. This should only take a moment, Inquisitor. I'm here, my darling.
my darling? Bastien? Um, that didn't look like it worked. Vivienne, I'm sorry. There's nothing here now. Do with me because she's taken already. Bastien is dead. I can hardly believe. It was the Winter Send Ball. My first visit to the Imperial Palace. The Circle sent a dozen of us to entertain the nobility. I was in awe of everyone and everything, and then our eyes met. Bastien spent the entire ball at my side. The Dowager tried to have him killed for slighting her, but he didn't care. Falling in love across a crowded ballroom. Sounds like something out of a children's story. He was a dashing rogue, and any defects he might have had were made up for with rank and importance. It was a more innocent time, I suppose. And now he's gone, and I... I must write to his son Laurent. And his sister will make a terrible fuss if she isn't informed first. And I'll need to arrange for the Chantry services. Maker only knows how long that will take. If I can help you, just say the word. No, my dear. I'll handle everything. Excuse me, I have so much to do. Her scream, that's what I'm thinking. I expected ruins. They were. As you see, the Inquisition has not been idle. Would it be possible to meet the Herald before we return to Ghislaine? My dear Laurent, for you, anything. Allow me to present Inquisitor Trevelyan. Your worship, you do us great honor. Inquisitor, this is my dear Bastien's sister, Grand Cleric Marceline, and his son, Duke Laurent of the Council of Heralds. Madame de Fer has told us what great trials you faced trying to save my poor brother's life. The Maker called my father to his side. It was valiant of you to champion him in his final hours. Well, I wish I could have done more, my if friend. I'd been able to save Bastien. The Circle of Magi told Bastien many years ago that his illness was incurable. It was simply his time. Would you mind waiting for me in the chapel, my dears? The Inquisitor and I have business to discuss. It has been our very great pleasure, Harold. This has been quite the triumph, hasn't it? They just adore you. <laughs> you told them about me? They seem very nice. Uh, uh, how is this a triumph? Duke Bastian's family seem quite pleasant. Ordinarily, I would have warned you that Marceline has the temper of a hungry vulture, but she's quite taken with you. Laurent is a dear, almost as pious as his aunt, and new to a seat of great power in the Empire. And Marceline is one of the strongest voices among the Grand Clerics. Now they will both come to us for advice. The Inquisition is truly a power now, and there's no telling how far its influence will reach. But enough of this talk. Here. I have something for you. I commissioned this ring from the Four Mari, the greatest enchanters in all Thedas, for you. Oh, ho, ho. why, thank you. This is a generous gift. Thank you, Vivian. Once it was customary for the Circles to craft enchantments for their staunchest friends and allies. And you have been both. I must go to see my guests now. Another time, darling. 